All right, in this lesson, we're going to be learning how to read a veneer caliper. Now, the last lesson, we learned how to read a ruler. Uh, we had this section right here that was divided into 30 seconds of an inch. The rest of these are divided into sixteenths of an inch. But there are limitations on what we can do with a ruler. Okay. If I want to measure the width of this pin, I can get pretty close on that. It looks like it's about a half an inch. Um, you know, it may be like 31, 30 seconds of an inch. But we have our limitations with the ruler. Uh, also, if we have something like this, and I want to measure how deep it is, I can't get the ruler in there. So what we can use is our veneer caliper. Okay, this is going to be accurate to within a thousandth of an inch or so. So it can be very accurate. Now the first thing we want to do when we take it out of the box before we use it, I'm going to use this wheel right here. I want to close it all the way. And if you can see, it's not quite on the zero right there. So I'm going to loosen up this screw on the bottom and turn the face until the zero lines up. Now I'm going to tighten it back up. And now we're ready to use it. Now this is a wheel that we can use for turning it. We can also just grab it right here if we need to slide it farther distances. Once we've made a measurement, this screw right here on top, we tighten it down and then it won't move. And we'll want to do that for our reading so we don't have to hold it in place while we're reading it. We can just tighten it down and then that way we can get a better angle to look at it. All right, so I'm going to loosen this up. And we can start with our pin. I want to get the diameter of that. I'm going to close it down, not too tight. I just want it to be snug. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to tighten that down. Then I want to tighten the screw on top. All right, and so now I can look at the reading. The first thing I'm going to look at is this area right here. Is this past one inch? No, we haven't made it up to the inch mark yet. So that's going to be zero point something. Now I'm going to look at the fractions of an inch. And on the veneer caliper, this is divided into tenths of an inch. If we look over here, you can see you've got 10 spaces. It goes one through nine. And then we get to this next mark, it would be 10. Okay. So we're looking at the line to the right of the number. So I've got the five right here, and then I've got the line. So that means it's a little past the 0.5, so I'm going to put the 0.5 there. Then I'm going to come over here to the dial. Now the dial, we're past the 10, so that's going to give me my next digit. And it looks like we're a little past the 15 right here. I turn it so I can get a little bit better angle. Yep, so we're a little past the 15, so I'm going to go with 5. And then the last number, I'm just going to kind of have to estimate. 
So if I'm looking at this, let's see if I can get the angle right on there. Okay, let's just bring it down here. Okay. So if I'm looking at this, it's past the 15, not quite to the 16. So I'm just going to have to estimate how far it is. This looks like it's pretty close to 0.5. It's about halfway across. And so I'm going to go with a 5 right there. Now, depending on you know how you look at it, you might be off a little bit of an angle. You could also go with probably four or six right there. Uh, some of you may look at it and go, well, that's a little bit more than halfway across, so I might go with 0.6. Let's see if I can bring it up here closer to... Yeah, actually, now that I look at it a little bit closer, it looks like we're more like six or seven tenths of the way. So let me erase that. And I want to go with seven. And you could probably go with six or eight. So we've got three answers that are close enough to being correct because that last number, we're just kind of making an estimate. All right, so let's look at another example. All right, I'm going to measure the diameter. Across here, I'm going to kind of get that tight. Tighten this up so it doesn't move. So now I can move this out of the way. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit closer on this. Not to adjust it. There we go. Okay. So now I come back over here and I look, that's the one inch mark. It doesn't go past the two inch mark. So this is gonna be one point something. Now I can see the line right here next to the six. I cannot see the line next to the seven, okay? So even though I can see the seven, it's not to the seven tenths line. So it's gonna be 1.6. Now I'm going to come over here to the dial, and we're at 71, 2, 3, looks like 74. And now I'm going to kind of estimate this, and we're not looking directly on, but I'm just going to go ahead and go with the angle where we're looking at it. So this tip looks like it's a little past halfway. So I'm going to go with six right there. And again, you could probably go with five or seven. Any of those three answers would be acceptable because that last number, we're just kind of estimating and, you know, we may look at it a little bit different. All right, so the outer diameter of that circle that I measured was 1.6746 inches. Okay, zoom out a little bit. All right, let's say I'm making a phone case for my cell phone. Okay, now I'm gonna to need to be fairly accurate. So I'm going to loosen this top up, open this up a little bit more.
tighten that down. All right, so now I want to look at the width. of my phone. All right, so the first thing we'll look at, we're at the three inch mark right here. It's gonna be three point, and I'm not even to the one right there. Okay, so if I'm not to the one, I have to put a zero. That doesn't mean we leave it blank, that means we didn't make it to the one, so we put a zero in that first decimal place. Then I come over here, I'm at 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. And some of you may look at that and say, that's right on the 44 and go with a zero. I'm looking at, it looks like it's just a little bit past it, so I'm gonna go with a one right there. But again, if you went with zero or two in that spot, any of those three answers would be correct. So 3.0441 or 440 or 442. All right, let's zoom back out a little bit. We're going to get the length of the phone. And this camera kind of obscures it, so it looks like that phone's really long, but... Um, it's not that long. Okay. Well, my phone's actually too big for me to be able to get an accurate reading here. Um because my phone's over six inches long, so I can't get the reading on that. So let's just do one more right here. Okay, so I'm gonna get the diameter of this large circle. that down a little bit. And let's zoom in. All right, take a look at this. We're past the four. And not to the five. This is going to be four point. Now we're past the five, but not to the six. So that's going to be five. Then I come over here. I'm at 30, 31, 32, 33. And then again, I'm just a little bit past the 33, so I could go with two, possibly a one, or a three right there. All right, we're gonna do a couple of more. Okay, and here I'm not actually measuring anything, I'm just setting it so we can just practice a little bit. All right, so again, on this one, I'm past the two inch, not to the three inch. That's gonna be two point. And if I'm come over here, 
this is the line for the seven. I can see the line. I can look up here and I can tell, okay, I'm just a little bit past the zero. So that's going to be 2.7. Okay, and then this is going to be zero, two. Don't just put the two right there. And actually, we're not quite to the two, so that's going to be point zero, one. And then it's almost a two, so I would probably estimate that at nine. Yeah, you, know, you could probably go with eight. I think it's pretty obvious we're not all the way over to the two, so I wouldn't go with two. You, know, you wouldn't go with the zero right there, so I'd say 2.7019. For that reading. All right, now a few things with uh, the veneer caliper. Oops, let's zoom out a little bit. And we're looking at this, if I want to measure inside here, again, you know, we tried to do it with the ruler, it didn't work. But on the veneer caliper, widen this out just a little bit. Okay. We've got this piece that sticks out down the end, out of the end down here. And so we can actually use that to put inside there. And then we just slide it down until that base hits it. Then again, I'm going to tighten this up. Okay. So it's down in there. You can see that it goes down to the bottom right there. Let's zoom in on this one. All right, and so when we're reading this, we're a little bit past the one inch mark. That's going to be one point. We don't make it all the way to the line of the one. I can kind of see the tip of the one sticking out right there, but we're not all the way there. So we put our zero. Then I come over here. I'm at 50. That's 55, 56, 57, 58. Doesn't quite make it to 59. And then estimating this last little bit, I can see a little bit of line sticking out right there. So I'm going to estimate that at nine. And depending on the way you look at it, you might look at that and say, well, that's right on 1.059. Or that looks close to 1.0588. Right? As long as you're within one ten thousandth, I, I think we're okay. All right, let's look at doing another measurement. Zoom out a little bit. All right, let's say that I want to measure how deep this is right here. Okay, we're going to use the step on this one.
Well, a couple ways we can do this. One is again, we can use that. Or if you look right here, we've got a little bit of a gap right there. This, this sticks out a little bit. So I can actually put that on right there and you can see that that kind of gives a little step. So either way, in a situation like this, I prefer to use this side. Okay. So I'm going to use the step right there and push it down so that it's good and snug. Okay, then I'm going to tighten that. And that's a pretty small gap. So let's take a look again. Obviously, we're not to the one inch mark, so that's going to be 0. Point. That line is just a little past the two, so that goes with the two, so that's going to be 0. 0.2. And we've got 10, we've got 15, 16. And this last one, to me, it looks like it's a little past halfway. Okay, so I want to probably go with six. Oops. That six looked pretty bad. All right, so I'm going to go with the six right there. And you might look at it and say, eh, it looks closer to seven. So if you had seven, that's fine. I think it's a little past five, but I think even five might be close enough. Because again, this last number is not going to be as accurate. That's, we're just, we're estimating. Even if it's right on the line, it can still be off just a little bit. So we're estimating on that one. All right, we're going to do one more. I'm going to go back to our Lincoln log here. Now, let's say we want to measure this gap going across here. That's where we use these. These are for inside. So I can put that right there. And just open it up so that it's good and snug in there. Tighten this down. This is that. Yep. Zoom back in. All right, we're not to the one inch mark, so that's going to be zero point, a little bit past the line that's next to the seven. That's going to be seven. Now we've got 20, that's 25, 26, 27 right there. And if I look at this, to me, that looks like it is just right at halfway between those. So I would go with five. Then you might look at that and say, well, it's a little bit closer to this line. It's four. So again, if you went with four or six right there, that last number we're just estimating. Uh, so we want to be as accurate as possible, but uh, we may not be perfect on that last number.
So we've got multiple ways that we can measure using the veneer caliper. And just using my Lincoln Log right here, we can measure the outside using these two. Using this part right here, we could do the step. which doesn't really make sense in this situation, but there are situations where we might need to use a step, like in this one, I think it makes good sense to use the step when we're measuring that. If we're measuring inside, we use that for measuring inside. And if we're measuring the depth, say like inside of this, and that's where we use this. So I just put it in there. And then slide down until we get in there. Okay. So remember, the first thing we want to do before we start using our caliper is make sure that the dial is set exactly on zero. And it's going to get off a little bit and you can see using it, uh, we're just maybe just a hair off right there. So we want to make sure that we get that as close to center as possible so that our measurements aren't off. Because all it takes is just a little bit off and you're going to be off by a thousandths or so and uh, your measurements aren't going to be as accurate. And that's how we use the veneer caliper.